everybody, what's going on? Professor Demetrius and Coach Craig here at the Academy, and today we're gonna to be creating this video to show you guys the tripod suite from the closed guard. Now, once it ends, there are two choices that you have, right? If you're a beginner, I suggest standing up and then looking to, of course, pass the guard when you have a chance. Um, if you're more advanced, you might like the knee cut pass, but we're gonna go over both, all right? So let's get started. We're here, Coach is gonna be inside of my closed guard, okay? He's got good posture ready, maybe even a rope grip, and um, his idea is going to be to stand up. Now, why would somebody do that? If I was here and I was controlling both of his sleeves, okay, and I wasn't thinking attack, then maybe he gets to think, okay, it's not too bad. He's not attacking me with anything that, me, that makes me have to defend, so it's time for me to pass. And when he thinks about passing, most passers like to stand up. Why? Because when he stands, gravity is an ally. And the weight that I have hanging off of my crossed feet behind him is going to help those feet to, boom, open up, right? So that's why people stand. So the idea is to start off here. If you tried to open here, it would be very difficult, right? He couldn't put any hand back on my leg because I'm holding on. Now he starts to build himself up. One, two, and gains his posture. And as he does that, I'm going to cross grip. So my right hand is going to switch over to his right sleeve, okay? Next, I'm gonna take my left hand and I'm gonna reach back here behind his Achilles tendon. Now notice I'm not using a C grip, I'm using something we call a monkey grip where I kinda of just hook my fingers just like this, okay? Now, I want him to step back a little bit. Here's how that's gonna go. I'm gonna uncross my feet willingly and then I'm gonna drop my hips in front or inside, I should say, of his legs. Now, I'm gonna press both feet back. I don't really need to step on him. I just need to push my heels heavily backwards, and that's going to create a situation where he can step back with only this leg, only his left leg. So watch. Boom. Okay? As soon as this happens, my foot is going to go right on his hip, toes out, heel in. Okay? Now my back leg, let's turn a little bit, coach. My back leg is going to hook behind his knee. Okay? So look what I have here. Let's talk about all the key points. I have his sleeve. I have a foot on his waist. I have a monkey grip back here on his Achilles. And I have the hook behind his knee as well. Okay, now here's the deal. Whenever you control two of your partner's legs and you push that person, they will fall. Okay, almost any sweep that has those key elements, you're controlling both legs and you're pushing your partner, that's going to at the very least sit them down. Okay, the goal for me now is to push coach and make him fall preferably on his right hip. So watch this, I kind of open his angle and he falls on his right hip. Let's turn. Now notice, when he falls this way, okay, I have the sleeve in hand still. I'm gonna let this go and for the basic variation, I'm gonna pass both of my feet inside and I'm gonna reach across and grab his pen. This is extremely important and I don't think enough people do it. Let's talk about why it's important. If I'm controlling his pant and he's facing his right, this makes it very difficult for him to be super athletic and scramble up to his feet before I get to my feet. All right? If I'm not paying attention to the leg on the side he's leaning to, then there is a possibility that coach will start to sit up and pull himself back up to the top, right? So my goal again is if he's on his right, I need to control the right. It's super important, guys, okay? From here, I can start to get up, and if he tries to beat me to the top, he's limited here, okay? There's no doubt that at some point he may find a way to turn the other way, but if he does that, he's leaving himself vulnerable to bad position. So as long as I'm ready for that instance, I can take advantage of it, right? Let's do it again. So from here, close guard. Okay, I'm just holding both sleeves to begin with, letting him do the next move, right? I want him to stand up. Now, as he starts to stand, one, two, okay, I cross grip, I hook, and now I can't go directly to those spots until I get him to take a step back with his left leg. So watch, drop your hips, pressure back, boom, there we go, perfect angle. Foot on the hip, hook behind the knee, okay? Now I'm going to push his hip, and chances are he falls towards his right if I do it correctly. So look, turn, boom. Now the feet go inside. Hand grabs here to avoid the scramble. We don't want to scramble. Now immediately from here, hand on the floor, post, standing base, okay? 
It's a little bit of a wishful thinking situation to believe that from here I can just pass his guard. It's probably not going to be that easy, but I'll take the sweep and work my way through the guard eventually. Okay? Now we're going to do it from a different angle. Same one, basic variation. Okay? So here, close guard, sleeve control, he stands. Okay, cross grip. Notice how it's a monkey grip here. Pressure, hip, hook. Bring him down, feet both inside his legs, control the side he's looking at, get that pan. Okay, now I build up and begin to enter. Okay, now for the more advanced students, there is a variation of this technique where you might be able to connect it to a knee cut pass. Okay, let's talk about how that will go. So from here, the initial sweep is the same. All right, we're here, he stands up. One, two, I get my grip, push him back. One, two, now check it out. When I start to knock him down, the foot that's hooking behind his left leg is going to then cross to this side. So obviously I'm gonna get him going first, and then as he falls, boom. Why am I throwing this leg out? Because it will give me a good base once I get my knee across. Pay attention, we're here, I push, Oh, okay, notice how my knee cut right over his right leg, and I'm already controlling this. So now all I have to do is do a grip switch and look for an underhook. From here, I can slide out because I got time. Okay, let's try it again. Let's do a different angle. Coach comes up. Boom. Control. Push. One. Two. Now watch, this foot will transfer here, but I only do that once I know he's falling. So from here, oh, right away I switch my grip. I start with the elbow. If he's already got his elbow pretty tight, it doesn't make sense for me to turn and lean away and shoot my hand in. I'll start with my elbow instead, raking it back and getting the underhook. Then, boom, slice through. Okay, one more time. Let's do one from this angle. I went through phases with this move, right? When I first learned the technique, I learned to just stand up. Then I got a little more used to, okay, I can cut my knee across. That feels a lot cooler, but still, hard to pass a guard that way. And now, to be honest, I'd rather just make sure that there is no scramble, get on top, and then from there, I'll work a guard pass. So that's the way I approach the technique now. All right, let's go ahead and close it. And we hope you guys enjoy.